Okay, so next we have our leave-in products. And to start this one off, oh, I didn't bring my Shea Moisture. Because, you know, I wanted to start off with Shea Moisture. But let me just go, let me go upstairs and get that. Because I, I'm also missing my heat protectant from them. So, yeah, I'll be right back. So, I went back to get the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Caster Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. This is really, really good. I used about half of it. This one is a little lighter than the deep conditioner. Like it, it jiggles. Let me shake it. <laughs> this is really, really good as well. I love the, this whole line. Every single category, yes. Every single one of these products are in my videos, so. That says a lot. This line is really good. So when I transitioned, I blow dried my hair a lot because I wasn't doing twist out. I did one twist out and when I did the braid out with my hair soaking wet and me braiding it up, it didn't work out right. So I always blow dried my hair before I styled it when I was transitioning. That just worked for me. So I know some people don't agree with that, but I mean, if, if, if I'm struggling, I'm not going to make it worse by not blow drying my hair <laughs> at least for me that was my reality if, if i did not blow dry my hair it was it was not happening so i used this and then heat protectant and then i blow dried my hair anyways the next leave-in conditioner we have oh 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 i thought this was a leave-in the next deep conditioner we're going to bring it back a little bit my elbow to a mint deep conditioner -er. This is the second jar that I have and it's almost gone. Every single time, this is a very light weight product. So it it moves like in no time. So every single time I use this, I waste a good amount and this costs $13. So you don't wanna just waste this. Nasus, Nasus. I was so mad the first time I used it and it went down the drain. I actually got it on camera too. I'm gonna play a little clip. I just dropped my phone and I tried to recover it and I just wasted all this product. Ah. But I was I was pissed because I spent 14, 13, 14 dollars on it and it went down the drain. So anyway, be careful when you're using this. Put the top on when you're not using it and that's another thing. The second time that I spilled, I didn't have the top on and it just went right down my sink. <laughs> so, <laughs> I make sure I put the top on whenever I'm using this. But this, this product, no words can describe how perfect this, I think this might be my favorite deep conditioner out of the ones that I showed next will be the Shea Moisture but this is top one top top one the top deep conditioner for me and my hair bobs too like my hair it just glided through my natural and relaxed hair if you guys have not tried this one definitely give this one a try it's the Maya Babsu and mint deep conditioner Sorry, Mayel, I skipped you on this one. So now moving back to leave-ins, we have the Curls Blueberry Bliss Reparative Leave-In Conditioner. I really like this one as well. I've used this twice, I believe. It goes to here. Very soft, moisturizing. It gets the job done. This is a really good one. Next for leave-in, we have the Mayel Pomegranate and Honey Leave-in Conditioner. I did a bit review on this one. Very good, very moisturizing. Helps me detangle my hair. It's a, it's, it's the real deal. Next one, I've been using this one since before I was natural. And this one, I feel like it's a hit or miss for some people. A lot of people claim that it dries their hair out, but my hair, really seems to really like this one I've been using it like I said I use this when I was relaxed because my roommate Chanel she used this and I really fell in love with the smell first it smells so tropical 
so that's what kind of turned me on but i've been using this this is probably like my third bottle you guys hear me huffing and puffing it's probably because i'm out of breath <laughs> my battery just ran out and i had to go all the way upstairs to get a new battery and my floor my house the way my house is set up you come in on the main floor and then you have to go upstairs to like the living room dining room area and then all the way upstairs to the bath the bedroom area so i had to go all the way upstairs this is the second time within the last 10 15 minutes that i've been filming that i had to go upstairs so i'm a little bit out of breath anyways we were i don't even know where we were um leave-ins i know that oh here we were on the maya pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner and one thing I like about this line, I didn't say this for any other the other products in this line, but this one, it explicitly says on the bottle, moisturizing curl, it says moisturizing product for a thick, curly, type 4 hair. So this is made specifically with our hair in mind, and I really appreciate that. Type 4 hair matters. <laughs> so yes, this is a really good one. It smells so good. And I think I'm about halfway done. But yes, this is a really good one. For the last leave-in conditioner, and now we're gonna transition into the heat protectors as well because this one is a two-in-one, really a 10-in-one. It's called, it's a 10. <laughs> and it does 10 different things. I can actually read them for you. One, repairs dry damaged hair. Two, adds shine. Three, detangles. Four, controls frizz. Five, seals and protects hair color. Six, prevents split ends. Seven, stops hair breakage. Eight, creates silkiness. Nine, enhances natural body. Ten, flat iron spray and thermal protector. So it does 10 different things, but I like using this as a leave-in and or a heat protector. So this uh, little, uh, whatever this is called, the name on the front is getting a little messed up, but it's called, it's a 10 miracle leave-in product. I recently just bought another one to restock because look, I am at the very bottom. And yeah, I've been using this. I probably started using this before I was natural as well. But this is definitely a staple product for me. I've mentioned it in a lot of videos and even the ones where I'm blow drying my hair, I'm using this. When I tested the TPH line and it sucked and the leave-in made my hair feel like really hard and brittle i used this to help correct it so since i couldn't use the conditioners to detangle my hair i'm going to go in with the it's a 10 miracle leave-in product and this really helps detangle this kind of melts like now my hair feels like something before it was just so hard and I couldn't even do this like with my hair because it was so rough. Like I'll show you this side. See it's not even moving. It's barely moving. And the, see how this side is. And I'll do <laughs> It feels so hard and brittle. Goodness so this is definitely a staple for me that it's a 10 miracle leave-in product and since we are moving on to the heat protectant I do have the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Grow Thermal Protectant now this I've been using this since before I was natural as well I don't see the little expiration thing on here but I don't have a lot left I have it goes like to right here and since I cut my hair off I have not blow dried my hair at all so I haven't been using these heat protectants recently for the last like two months October November December so about, yeah two months actually today is the 20th so yeah two months and two days I've been fully natural but now I have not been using the, this because I have not blow dried my hair yet but the next product it's really good so I literally have everything from this Jamaican black castor oil line I have 
the heat protectant, I have the leave-in, I have the deep conditioner, I have the shampoo and the regular conditioner. So this line, if you don't get anything else, if you don't take away anything else from this video, this Shea Moisture Black, Jamaican Black Castor Oil line did really well for my transitioning hair. So I would definitely recommend this. If you don't take away anything else, if you don't get anything else, try the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line out. Okay, next or lastly in the heat protectant category, I have the Aussie Total Miracle Heat Protecting Spray. It has apricot and Australia macadamia oil. And this is that. So I really like the Aussie products as well. This one is probably about halfway done. It feels like it goes to right here. So I actually have like two of these. I had a lot of coupons. These are sold in CVS. And I also get a lot of coupons for this and Shea Moisture products. So yeah. Next we have the Stalin products. So I only chose two to talk about in this video because I know this is probably a long video already so I don't want to make it too long. But I have the Almond and Avocado Curl Enhancing Mousse by Design Essentials. I did a, I think I did two videos on this. I used this for my very first twist out when I was transitioning and I also used it when I did my flexi rods and perm rods style when I was transitioning. This leaves your hair feeling very fluffy and soft. So it's not a super tight hold, but it is, um, it is a strong hold, but it's not super tight, you know? Like it's not hard and crunchy. It's very soft and fluffy. So I like this. And on the back, I think it says something about the hold here. Yes, it says for waves, curls, and coily textures seeking a soft, pliable hold with crunch and flake free styling. So exactly what I said, and that's exactly what I experienced when I use this product. My beautician used this on this this line, Design Essentials, on my hair when I was relaxed. So I like that they have a natural hair line as well. And also my grandmother just gave me some Design Essential products, so I got another little line upstairs. Next we have the Mayel Pomegranate and Honey Coil Sculpting Custard. Again, I think I brought every product that I have in this line. I've mentioned it in this video. The shampoo, the conditioner, the leave-in, and then the coil sculpting custard. This one has a really, really, really strong hold and it sort of makes your hair feel crunchy. So I used this when I did a braid out and I didn't particularly like, I mean, I like the definition that I got, but I didn't like how it felt. So I'm thinking next time maybe use this for when I use a flexi rods or a perm rods for a tighter hold on that. But I don't think this is good for a braid out for me at least. The products, they smell so good. Hmm. The consistency is very light. Like if I were to turn this up and down, it would spill. Very lightweight. But I love the packaging. I know there's a lot of like There's a lot of people who like are like cutting off Mayel because of what's going on, but I mean Mayel is has really been working for my transitioning and natural hair, so I really it's hard for me to cut them off knowing that the products work really well for my hair. So we have that. And then lastly, I just wanted to talk about the gels that I use. I do I did use my Eco Styler Jamaican or black castor oil something seed something I'll show a picture of that <laughs> I'm not going back upstairs to get it and then I use the local de gorilla so it's gorilla gorilla snot gel and this it has a really good hole it's yellow it looks a little nasty when you open let me open it again for the ew <laughs> it's yellow it's very sticky and gooey but it does have a really good hole And then lastly for edge controls, I liked using the Style Factor 
Edge Booster, and the scent is Sugar Melon. I got this from my local beauty supply store. And these are sold out. Like I had to look for a while to get this product, and I should have got multiple ones when I was there. But these were sold out when I was first introduced to them. I guess they were really, really popular. So it did take me a while to get this, but I really do like this one. It has a really good hold and it smells good. They have a lot of different scents and it's in their different colors depending on the scent. This was a good one for my edges. I like that. And so that is it for this video. I shared a lot of products, but these are ones that I would definitely reach back for when I was transitioning. Some of them I got later in the game, so I only used them once or twice while I was transitioning. Definitely products that I think did really well for my hair. They just made my wash day a little bit easier, like I've been saying a lot throughout this video. They really did. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you are transitioning, let me know in the comments down below how long you've been transitioning and how long you plan to transition before cutting your relaxed ends off. And if you are fully natural, let me know how long you did transition and if you have used any of these products that I mentioned in this video. And with all that being said, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. A big, big thumbs up. Share this with your friends, share this with your family, your other curl friends. And then also, I click the subscribe button. It is right, right here. And the bell to be notified whenever I post. And until my next video, I will see you guys later. Bye.